In this video, we take a look at the relational database concepts that you need to be aware of for GCSE. If you haven't watched our previous video, which was a database's introduction, go back and watch that first. On the screen now are the five relational database concepts that you need to be familiar with for the exam, and that's fields, records, tables, primary keys and foreign keys. Let's take a look at each of those now. So here on the screen we see two database tables, a world table and a constant table, and they all contain information. And we're going to use these to illustrate the different relational database concepts. The first is field. This is a single type of data from a database table. So here we see the population field within the world table. A record is a set of related fields on a single entity within a database table. So here we see the Algeria record in the world table with all of its related fields of data, such as area, population, etc. A table is a complete set of related records on the same topic or subject. So here we can see two separate tables, one containing all the records for the world and one containing all the records for the continents. Next concept is primary key. Now this is a field in a database table which can be used to uniquely identify any record within that table. The primary key field for the world table is the name field as it's unique. In other words, there's no country which appears more than once in the world table. The primary key for the continents table is the continent field. In a similar way, each entry here only appears once. Now, as mentioned in the previous video, with a relational database, tables can be joined together. As well as being the primary key for the continent table, the continent field here also acts as a foreign key which links us back to the world table. It's this primary key foreign key link which joins the tables together into a relationship. The foreign key becomes by default the primary key of the new table. So we've just recapped here the five relational database concepts you need to be aware of. Pause the video and take some notes. So that's all you need to know for the GCSE specification. But if you'd like to know a little bit more about relational databases, uh, then carry on. This will certainly link into databases at the A level if you're thinking of studying the course further. So as mentioned, relational databases are a set of separate tables that are somehow related together. So here we have three separate tables, a table detailing details about students, a table outlining details of various courses they can study, and a table outlining various lectures that teach those courses. With relational databases, the relationships we create between the separate tables have specific notation and meaning. Two tables can be linked together in one of three different relationships. We can have a one-to-one -one relationship where one entry in one table has a single entry in the other table and vice versa. We can also have what are called one-to-many relationships where a single row, record or entry in one table relates to many entries in the other. So for example, I could say that a single teacher in the teacher's table teaches many students in the student table. And there are also what is known as to many to many relationships. So for example, I could argue that a student can take many courses, but also the other way that many courses can relate to many students. These relationships and how they're drawn together are known as entity relationship diagrams, and that's what you've been seeing at the top of the screen. 
the lecturer, the courses and the students table and the relationships between them. Now, although a many-to-many -many relationship makes perfect sense in this situation, we have many students who can take many courses, many courses being taken by many students, we're not actually allowed this in a relational database. We would need to break this many-to-many -many relationship apart using a process known as database normalization. Now, this is far beyond the GCSE specification, but it's definitely something that you'll be studying at A-level.